Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we will explore Amazon Redshift Spectrum. This is another method of analyzing and exposing S3 data to AWS Redshift. We can efficiently query and retrieve structured and semi-structured data from files stored in Amazon S3 without having to load the data into Amazon Redshift tables. Redshift Spectrum queries employ parallelism so the queries run fast against large data set. We can create Redshift Spectrum tables by defining the structure of our files and registering them as tables in the external data catalog. Redshift Spectrum is part of Amazon Redshift Web Services that offers a common platform to extract and view data from databases as well as S3 data lakes. We can query data from both services without having to move data between them. AWS Redshift Data Warehouse is a costly data store as compared to S3. Redshift Spectrum helps you economize the storage cost by moving the infrequently accessed data away from its main storage such as Redshift and keeping the frequently used data in RDS. We create and manage external tables in Amazon Redshift using Data Definition Language or DDL. After our Redshift Spectrum tables have been defined, we can query and join the tables just as we do with any Amazon Redshift table. However, we cannot perform update operations on external tables. When we update our Amazon S3 data files, the data is immediately available for querying in Amazon Redshift. First step to creating external tables based on S3 is to create an external schema. The external schema references a database in the external data catalog and provides the IAM role ARN that authorizes our Redshift cluster to access Amazon S3 on our behalf. We will issue the following command to create an external table. So we say create external schema, then the schema name, in this case adventureworks underscore external from data catalog and we provide the database as dev and uh, here we provide the IAM role ARN. Then we say create external database if not exist. Once the schema is created, we can go ahead and start creating external tables in this schema. To create an external table, we must be the owner of the external schema or a super user. To create an external table, we run the following create external table command. So in this command, we say create external table. Uh, we specify the external schema name, dot table name, then we specify the columns and their data type. After that, we provide the row format delimiter. We store this as text file and we provide the location of S3 object. We only provide the reference to the folder. Then we specify the table properties. We execute the query and uh, once the table is created successfully, we can query it just like a regular Redshift table. Let's execute the following query against this table to view the data. The query executes successfully and we query the S3 object utilizing the Redshift spectrum. We can treat this as a normal Redshift table and join it to existing native Redshift tables. You can issue queries utilizing joins to get data from different tables utilizing Redshift and Redshift Spectrum to analyze data from both of these services. If we want to see the underlying S3 lineage for external table, then we can run the following query. AWS saves this information in few special pseudo columns. This gives us the S3 path, file, and other information. As a common practice, most folks keep their large fact tables in Amazon S3 and smaller dimension tables in Amazon Redshift. Once we load the data in external tables, they are available to us in Redshift and we can query and join them as regular tables for our analysis. This is all for now on Amazon Redshift Spectrum. I hope you enjoyed the session. Like, share and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.